A very important question that you need to ask yourself is, do you have a side hustle? Right now, I'm about to go pick up a barbell, so like a weight barbell. And these things are in crazy hot demand and I'm gonna be paying $125 for it. I know that I can resell this bar for between $275 to $300. Do you have a side hustle? It's something you need to ask yourself. Now, you guys probably know me. I'm a real estate investor, but I also have other side hustles. And these side hustles began when I was a young kid. I remember buying a box of Pokemon cards. I think it was like 200 bucks. And this was money I saved up from Christmas, from birthdays, from grandma, from whatever. And I would then go sell those individual packs for $5. So I would make around $200 when I sold all of the packs. And these side hustles kept growing. I remember when I was 18, I would go over uh, the border, so I'd go to the United States, and I would buy pairs of Air Jordans. And I would get pairs of Air Jordans for like 60 bucks US. At that time, our dollar was pretty close to par. But those same exact shoes were selling in Canada on eBay for $150. So I would usually go there with a credit card, my first credit card I ever got, and I would spend about $500 to $700, and I would just buy a bunch of sneakers. Um, I never had to pay duty, um, and usually I was honestly pretty upfront with them, saying like, yeah, I bought five pairs of sneakers, or I bought six pairs of sneakers, or whatever it was, uh, and they never actually made me pay duty, but then I would then sell those same shoes online eBay, and I would easily double my money. That side hustle then grew to buying and selling cell phones. Now, I got a job working at a telecommunications company selling cell phones and selling cell phone plans and accessories. And so I learned a lot about cell phones and I learned what to look for to make sure you don't get ripped off. And what I was doing is I would find usually iPhones, um, iPhone 4s and iPhone 5s were my bread and butter back then. Uh, and I would buy these phones for about $200, again, from somebody that was on either Kijiji um, or even somebody that came into the store. The store would offer them $150 for their trade-in. And I would say, hey, I'd give you $200. Let's step outside and do the transaction after I'm done work. Now, I don't know if that's really frowned upon or not, but that's what I was doing. And I could easily sell these same iPhones for between $350 to $400. So again, I'm doubling my money. And what I'm trying to tell you, I'm not trying to brag by any means. What I'm trying to tell you is that most successful people in terms of they're successful financially have multiple streams of income. And that's exactly what I was doing. And that's what I continue to do to this day. Yes, I have multiple rental properties that pay me every single month, but I'm also still hustling by doing little side hustles like buying and selling things on Kijiji and Facebook Marketplace. And when I was younger, specifically like around the 18 years old, I had the idea of I wanted to buy a rental property. I wanted to get into real estate. So this was my seed money to help get a down payment so that I can then purchase a property. And that's exactly what I did. So again, ask yourself, do you have a side hustle? And me, like I'm 28 years old and I'm still doing these sort of things. I'm still buying and selling things on Kijiji. So for all you guys out there that are saying, I can't make extra money or I don't make, I don't have enough money to buy a rental property or I can't save a down payment. Guys, come on. I'm just about to show you that I was on Facebook Marketplace this morning, I'm buying a barbell for $125 and I'm going to resell it for anywhere from $275 to $300 because these things are in demand. And this isn't the first time that I've been buying and selling weights during this pandemic. As I'm sure a lot of you know, these things are in high demand right now. You really can't find them at like Canadian Tire or Walmart. Uh, so I've been buying and selling weights on Kijiji and Facebook Marketplace for the last six, seven months. Uh, and honestly, I've probably made around $2,000 or so. Uh, and that's extra. That's just extra money. You know, it takes a little bit on my day. I guess you can take some money off for my time and driving, but if I'm buying something for $125, I'm selling it for 300, obviously that's not bad. It takes me maybe an hour to go there, pick it up, maybe not even if I'm in the area. And now you might be thinking, well, Colton, what happens if you can't sell it? Then you're stuck with that item. And that's very true. But honestly, I usually buy things that I can use afterwards if I can't sell them. So if, Worst case, I buy an iPhone 7 now. Uh, I can probably give it to somebody. If I pay 200 bucks, hey, here mom, here dad, here's an iPhone 7. If I buy this barbell and someone else doesn't buy it, well, I have a barbell and you know what? I will be able to use that barbell 
in the future for my own home workouts. Uh, if you're buying furniture, don't buy 10 pieces at once. Start off with one piece, right? And worst case, you have a piece of furniture that you can use or you can donate or you can give to somebody else. So start small and build your way up. But it's all about finding your niche. Like I said, I started with Pokemon cards, I got into sports cards, I got into cell phones. And now the big thing right now is weights and weightlifting items. So there's some information for you guys about side hustles. I really think they're important. Maybe I'll do a, like an actual video on this about the best types of side hustles. But uh, keep watching because I'm going to show you exactly what this product looks like. And you can see, honestly, I'm about to double my money easily just by reaching out to somebody on Facebook Marketplace, sending them an offer, them agreeing to it, paying them in cash, and about to post a picture and put it back online to sell it. So about that side hustle, I got the bar right here. Apologize for the mess, I'm getting ready for renovation, but there's the bar. So I purchased it for $125, and within five hours of posting it on Facebook Marketplace, somebody offered me $300, and asked if I could deliver it. And I said, sure, where are you? They are about 20 minutes away. So I said, is 25 bucks extra sound fair? He said, yes. So I cleared $200 on that barbell right there. Bought it for 125 after the delivery charge, 325. So that's $200. Yeah, sure, maybe take out 10 bucks for gas, whatever. I'm gonna say I cleared 200 bucks on this side hustle. So everybody, who's out there who wants to try and make a little bit extra cash, this is the way to do it. Find cheap things on Kijiji and Facebook Marketplace and then quickly flip them within five hours, guys. Five hours, I'm on my way to go drop off that barbell right here to a new buyer that is paying me $200 more than I just paid for it five hours ago. So there you go, everybody. I hope you got value from this video. If you guys like this type of side hustle videos, please let me know in the comment section. Uh, this is. Pretty much the first time i've done something like this so if you guys want to follow me around while i do side hustles let me know in the comment section click that like button subscribe to the channel and of course if you want to learn more about real estate investing personal finance and what's going on in today's economy check out the videos in front of you i'll see you there